Hi, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing your astrology sign here for Pisces uh, for the month of September 2017. And here's your star sign coming out, and the tarot, and you are the moon card, all very psychic, very spiritual. Right, I just feel so now, as you start to move forward a little bit, be careful how you're connecting with your star sign Capricorn, uh, not your star sign. People around you may be a Capricorn. I feel as though you may be sort of winding each other up a little bit or not getting on. And you could be picking up on what they're feeling and they're feeling a bit possessive and control uh, or a bit controlling. And it's like it just feels like there's a bad connection there. So it just feels like if you've got things to say, just bide your time, just go and cool off. Just try not let things get overheated. So I just feel so like if you're the Capricorn that's connecting with the Piscean, then you need to sort of watch your temper a little bit, controlment. And if you're the Piscean, then you need to just try and not be too intuitive in this around them, saying things that might just wind them up, as if say, where have you got that from? So just be a little bit careful how you're kind of connecting with each other. And I'm also feeling as well, almost like I feel I'm feeling a bit held back at the moment, like I can't quite move forward. But I just feel as though that's starting to dissipate now a little bit. And I feel as though you're feeling a bit weighed down. But I feel so you've got to start getting a bit of balance in your life now. Making sure everything's working for you the way you move forward. Right. Do be careful what's going on with vehicles around you. I've got you thinking about trying to make some savings with vehicles. And I feel so that's absolutely fine. So you might be thinking, here, yeah, right, okay, I can change my car. I'll get that car. Oh, great. And £10 a week better from the fuel. Fantastic. Brilliant. £500 a year. That's a bloody good saving, isn't it? Oh. Well, I've just bought a new car. And I've got it on finance. Nothing wrong with the other one. So that car's cost me an extra two grand in finance. So you're actually one and a half thousand pounds a year worse off. So it feels like if you are just doing it for the motivation of saving, really add it up. Are you saving? Is it better just keep the vehicle that you've got? But if you are, you know, looking to change your vehicle, then you need to change your vehicle, and it's more economical, brilliant. But if not, it could be just better hanging on. Sometimes we think we're saving, but we're not saving. So really analyse it. Do your figures on everything. You know, the, the cost of changing it, the cost of tax, the insurance, everything like that across the board. Really weigh it up if it's the right thing to do. But other than that, I haven't got a problem with it. Got things sort of weighing you down a little bit. It's almost like I've just got you sort of being very motherly at the moment and, and I just feel as though I'm, I'm being drawn to children with you. So here we are coming out as the Empress and, and I just feel as though if you're quite young, sort of 21 maybe to 30s, maybe 35, you may be thinking about having a child and I feel as though that's absolutely fine and wonderful. And if that's you, congratulations before it's happened. But I'm also feeling motherly could come in the uh, connection where I just feel as though it could be where I just feel as though if you're a bit older than that, you may be thinking about fostering or looking after family. So there's more nurturing than children going on here. And I feel as though that's absolutely fine. But be careful, like I said, that you don't take on too much. So otherwise you could be the one that needs looking after him. So I just feel as though I need to take things easy, think things clearly about what we're doing and how we're planning out things. And it's also, like I say, it's not just about children fostering, it's the elderly as well, like our mothers and fathers who are older, we may be looking after them now a little bit because they're getting on a little bit. So see where that's kind of coming in around you. So yes, I'm not saying don't do it, but try not to weigh yourself down as well. You've got to be careful that you're not doing too much. I know it has to be done, but can it be shared? Can the load be shared? Don't take on all of it on your own. Okay, now there's a lot of love around you at the moment, so this is looking good. Uh, beautiful ace of cups coming all, feeling all very emotional. So relationships and blossom around you, or new beginnings if, you, if you're single. And, and I feel so sharing the love. Wonderful. That, that's absolutely great. I'm also got the feeling of sort of being drawn to property a little bit, so perhaps sort of bringing new things in or changing things a little bit, and I feel so that's okay as well. So overall, everything's fine, but just try and make sure your life's in balance this month. And I feel so it's certainly getting settling down a little bit from August, and I just feel so looking towards the rest of the year where it's all going and doing a bit of planning, 
and I feel so it's all looking pretty good. So that's Peter the Clairvoyant, and I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want a bit more of an in depth reading, you know where I am on 0758 384 6626. Thank you.